of how you're going to handle the situations in my life. And God, if you don't come through, uh, then you have disappointed me. And listen, don't ever let the Lord disappoint you. That, 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 I mean, there's no point in it. There's no point in and you, that you're ever saying, well, uh, I just feel awful disappointed uh, because the Lord didn't come today. Listen, the Lord knows exactly what He's doing and why He's not coming. But just say this, but He's coming. I don't know why, I don't know when, I don't know how, but I know He's coming. Uh, and I know He'll deliver us. Uh, when it's in that darkest hour, uh, we all start grabbing for the dark and going, Oh Lord, if you'd have just been here. Yeah. If you'd have just been here, Lord, uh, you know, you could have saved this or saved that or kept that from happening or you, 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 could, have, you, you could have done something, Lord. Uh, listen, there is no, no time in, in, in the, whole, uh, the whole layout of the situation. There is no time that it is a time that He can't do anything. He doesn't get beyond the time he can do anything. He can raise him up out of the casket if he wants to. Uh, he can change everything if he wants to. He can get rid of the cancer if he wants to. He, 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 whatever, it doesn't matter what it is. If God wants to, and if he don't, I'm settled with, I'm okay with, that's the best for me. Listen, God's going to do the best for me. I know I don't understand it, and I certainly can't explain it. And I don't know if I can get you to believe it. But I know that He's going to do the best for me. Even in the worst situation. Oh my goodness. The worst situation of my life. Then God done the best thing. And I can see some of the best as what He's done now. That I, oh my Lord, when I was in my hour of despair, I thought it was it. I thought it was over. I thought this is it. My whole life is gone. I, it's, it's lost. Everything. And then God said, Nah, I got this. Trust me. And that's when we get to where, you know what? That's when we begin to live on that different level with God. We begin, Amen. Y'all ready? Amen. Amen. Say Amen. Or, amen. If, if that's you, ever get on that other level with God amen. that, that you, you're not on the one you can on, that you, that you begin to realize that who God really is amen. and God can. Do miraculous things that we never thought he could do, and now I live. Hey, he's not out yet. Don't tell him out yet. Right. Don't tell God that, because he can do miraculous things. Right. You know, with a broken piece of wood, he can do miraculous things. Thank you, God. Hey, even in my brokenness, even in my brokenness, that was the best time of my life. Listen to me. I've, 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 I've suffered tragedy after tragedy after tragedy. And I'm not trying to get to say, poor me. But listen to what I'm saying. Is, that was some of the best times of my life. God taught me more. Made me more. Strengthened me more. Built me more. Made, listen, made me trust Him more than I ever had before. I didn't even know that there was a trust at this level. I thought there was some prayer. Uh, by the time you get to this level, you just give up on God and quit and go back to the world. But but there's no going back to the world. There's no world, there's no world out there for me and you. Uh, there, there's nothing to go back to. So there's never going to be a time to well, I'm over this God thing. I'm going back to the world. What's the world got to offer me? They ain't lived at this level because if they, if they had, they would understand they got nothing that even tempts me, that even, that even interests me. Uh, this is my life. This is who I am. I am a child of God. This is, part, this is who I am. It's not what I do, it's who I am. And I live on a different level than, than, than most of the world does. And even most of Christian does. I live on a different level than that. I have a higher understanding than that. And that's not saying, ooh, big me. I'm just saying, big God. Yeah. You know? And me getting to know big God more and more and more. And I can trust Him more. And say, you know what? And you know why? So I can give those that have no hope from hope. Yeah. I say, wait a minute. Don't don't get down. Yeah. Don't give give God a day or two. Yeah. Give, give it a day or two. Don't 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 throw a towel in. Don't don't fall apart. Trust God. Yeah. Trust God. He can show you some things that you have never seen. That's right. He can bless you in the worst mess of your life. Yeah. The hardest times of my life 
is it is the most learned experience I ever had. I learned more in the valley than I ever learned on the mountain. Amen. That valley, that width of that valley, and I thought it was way too wide. And it was just barely wide enough because when I got put back together, I was coming out the other side. Right. I, God hit it just right. As they put me back together, I cleared that valley and started up that mountainside. Amen. God knows what He's doing, y'all. That's what I'm saying. Say, Martha, Mary, y'all calm down. It's okay. Jesus is here now. Jesus is here now. And many of the Jews came to Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary sat still in the house. Then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou had been here, my brother had not died. But I know that even now, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it thee. Jesus saith unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Thy brother shall rise again. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. And that's going to be the best you can do, Lord. I know he's going to rise again the last day. I understand that. Uh, that, was what I, that was my point in what saying uh, that, that, that whatever you asked of God, he would do. I know you can raise him up the last day. Uh, we're all going to raise up the last day. I understand that. But if you had been here, he wouldn't have had to die right now. He wouldn't have had to, this wouldn't have had to have been in. You could have done something. But now, the door's closed. And you can't do anything. Jesus saith unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Martha saith unto him, I know. But Jesus saith unto her, listen to me, Martha saith unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus saith unto her, I am the resurrection. I am the resurrection. You see, I have to wait for the resurrection. I'm the resurrection just walked up. I'm here. Praise God. And I can do that any time. I am the resurrection. So listen to me. Don't you give up. Don't believe that lie. Don't believe it. You listen. The, the, the devil starts getting you down. Uh, those of you that are young, still young in your life, the devil tries to defeat you in just saying stuff. And he can get you to believe some of the darndest stuff that, 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 that you ever could imagine. I've talked to teenagers that, that, that the devil has convinced them of stuff that it ain't really not, no proof or anything. It's just he said it to their minds. He can't get to her, but he just mentioned it. Or he had somebody else to say something that wounded them, that hit them where it hurt at, that, 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 that he knew where they were already uh, hurt at, and he got somebody to come along to stab it just a little bit deeper and twist the blade a little bit. He knows how to do that. And I see young teenagers that, that aren't so defeated. Listen to me, young child of God. Listen to me. The devil's a liar. He can't whip you. Amen. If he can whip you, if he can take you out, he will. But he can't. Amen. If he could have, he'd have not done it. Right? You hear because God said so. Amen. And you'll be here as long as God said so. Amen. And the devil ain't got a thing to do with it. And you're not going to hit bottom. And it's not the end of the world. And your life's not over. And it's not finished yet. No, it ain't. And God can do anything, anytime, right where you're at. Amen. Somebody try to put you down. Don't worry about them. Just let that slide right off your back, man. Don't even, don't even give it a thought. Amen. Don't even give it a thought. When they start coming down on you, and start putting down on you, don't even worry about it. Why? They don't know the Lord. They don't know who you know. Right. Listen, they, the, the one you know can make you anything he decides for you to be. He can lift you above anything this world got against you. Uh, the Lord can lift you up out of it. The Lord can lift you above it. The Lord can make you better than you ever was. Amen. When the devil thought he got you and took you out, God can make you better than you ever was or going to be. Amen? Amen. You might not was going to be that good. But now, since God's got in it and worked a miracle, there's a miracle going on inside now. Look out. Man, back up. I've got a miracle up in me. I'll get back. Don't push me much. And don't put me down, Paul. Got a miracle in me up in here. So don't get too close. That's what I tell them. Back off. Get, get back. And they're like, hey, what, what's wrong? Got a 
here up here, I could have bust out on you. Are you crazy? Amen. Gotta be crazy. Get that close to me like that, man. You're throwing on me like that. I'm going to be there and watch all that. Amen. That's what you tell them. Don't make me blow up on you. Oh, Lord, don't let the Lord get started. Amen. I want to, don't let the Lord get started. You're in trouble. He says, Thy brother shall rise against you. He said, I know. He said, I'm the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believe it down there. I'm not going to die. Devil, I'm sorry. I'm not going to die. You just going to have to watch, sit by and watch me fly off. You're going to think you got me now. I'm not here. I'm drifting up through the air. And he said, he thought he got me. No, he didn't get me. He can't get me. He can't get me. Amen. My life belongs to God. I believe so I think when, I, when I was in the world, when I was of the world, the world had some kind of control over that. No longer does the world have any control over me anymore. Yeah. Uh, the Bible says, uh, God said, Paul said in, in the book of Romans, dominion, sin should have no more dominion over you. You're not subject to it. You don't have to give in to it. Right. Nothing in this world uh, that, that God doesn't want you to do, do you have to do you don't have to do it. Well, I just, I, no, I'm telling you, God will give you the power, the strength, the courage, the grit, the wherefore to get up and stand up and say, no, I'm not doing that, <coughs> not doing that, not, not falling for it, I'm not going that way. Praise God, I'm not going to do it. So, so anything that you think the devil is going to drag you into, just look at him and say, it ain't going to happen, big boy. It ain't going. I'm not going. Right? And then when your friends start to put you down and everybody starts, you know, uh, making fun, and I say, listen, let them go. That's all right. I, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. You can take a lot of that stuff because God's going to lift you higher and higher and higher. Higher and higher. Martha was on the bottom. I mean, she was licking the bottom of her shoes. She was down there. Can't do nothing. The Lord's out. He's done it. If he had come, though, he could have done something. Jesus, if you'd have been here, you could have done something. He said, Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? And she saith unto him, Yea, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which should come into the world. And when she had so said, she went, she went, when she had, had so said, she went her way and called Martha, uh, Mary, her sister, secretly, saying, The Master is come and calleth for thee. What a thought. Thank the Lord's calling you out there. But that's a statement right there. You hear me? The Lord wants me. Thank you. The, the Lord's calling for I like to hear the Lord calling for me. Amen. I'm coming, Lord. I'm coming. Hold up. Don't leave yet. I'm coming. He said, the Lord, he's calling for you. He's calling for you. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly, me too, and came unto him. Now Jesus was not yet coming to the town, but was in that place where Martha met him. The Jews then, which were with her in the house, and comforted her uh, when they saw Mary, uh, that she rose up hastily and went out, followed her, saying, She goeth unto the grave to weep there. <laughs> then when Mary <clears throat> was come where Jesus was and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying unto him, Lord, if thou hast been here, my brother had not died. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping, which came with her, he groaned in his spirit. And was troubled. Not that Lazarus, but because of Martha and Mary was in such despair. And didn't want to see his children in despair. He doesn't want to see you in despair. Right. 
I know it's a bad situation. I know it's hard. And I know, and I know, and, and, and with me, I, if you have children, it's even harder to see your children go through it than it is to go through it yourself. You would, you would prefer anything that, that they're going through to be put on you. Lord, let me suffer the, 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 the brunt of it. Let me suffer the, the hurt of it. But to, and take it off them, you know. Uh, that, that's the way we all do. We all, brother, have been on us. <clears throat> when Jesus therefore foresaw her weeping, uh, and the Jews also weeping, which came with her, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled, and said, Where have you laid? They said unto him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. Jesus wept. Listen to me. You have to think it's most marvelous and miraculous thing that God loved us enough that we could make God cry. Right. God loved me enough and saved my pain and God, I made God cry. When he sang me cry. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. And that's the way he loves you. Amen. That's the way God loves you and me. He, when, when he sees us cry, he breaks his heart. It, it moves him. It moves him too. He doesn't want to see us hurt. But he knows that it's necessary pain in this life because without it, we'd never face anything that would change us. Everything that is given to us and it doesn't cost us some pain or some, some stress or some worry or some hurt or something. It doesn't cost us anything. It's very seldom we ever learn anything. But the things that cost us something teach us something. Amen. And it cost him here. Jesus wept. Well, then said the Jews, Behold how he loved him. And some of them said, Could not this man which opened the eyes of the blind have called that even this man should have died, or should not have died. Jesus therefore again groaned in himself, cometh to the grave. It was a cave, and a stone laid upon him. Then Jesus said, Take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, saith unto him, Lord, by this time he thinketh, For he hath been dead four days. Lord, you can't do anything for it. He's done rotted in there. He stinks. Don't remove the stone. Don't take the stone away. Listen. The devil may think he's already defeated you. And he's made you turn away and give up on God. And go back, like I said, to the world. And then to give in to the world and its ways of solving problems. The way the world solves problems is uh, they take alcohol or drugs or, or whatever it might be, sensual living or, or whatever it might be to distract and numb their mind for a little while so they don't have to face the issue at hand. God doesn't do it that way. God solves the thing. God settles the thing. He don't put it off till later. He, he don't just none you for right now. Uh, God take it away. God can take away the pain. He said, move the stone. She said, Lord, he stinks. He said, move the stone. I'm telling you, when I say move the stone, I'm going to do a work that makes death go. Death's going to run out of here when I remove the stone and call for it to come forth. He's coming forth and death's going to have no more power over him. Jesus, therefore, again, wrong in itself, coming to the grave. It was a cave, he said, and, and, and they were going to see. Jesus said, take away the stone. She said, Lord, he stinketh, has been dead four days. Verse 40, Jesus saith unto her, said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, how am I going to get this to work for me, Brother Jimmy? I, I love the way you're preaching there, and, and I wish my problems could be ended like that, and I wish I could overcome what's out ahead of me. And I don't, I, but I need to know the method. I need to know the, I need to know the mechanics of how I get this to work for me. Look what he told her. 
Jesus saith unto her, Said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, <laughs> thou shouldest see the glory of God? He said, Just believe. Yes. Yeah, but I gotta have something to do something bigger than that. Trust him. How long did he come? Did he come? Because if you got to put him on a timetable, you're not trusting him. You're trusting your timetable. You're trusting something else that you can force God into a corner that he's got to act by now. No, he doesn't. He's God. He's timeless. He's timeless. He can add another 30 years to your life if he needs to to make the thing work out like he, where you would see you got so much time that you were going to spend with this this one of your children or, or this your spouse or and he had this many years that, that, that he had already determined that you're going to spend with your spouse or your children or your loved one or whatever it might be and, and, and mishap came in and things happened that he had to use to make you grow and, 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 he, and he looks at it again and Wait a minute, I slipped three years right there and I and that knocked another. I might have had five years of her life just to carry out the time that I had already predetermined that she's going to spend with her spouse. I might have to rework things. And, you say, and he can do it any time he wants to. Amen. Well, he can't do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be dead time I'm 70. Oh, no, God can move to 75 or 80 if you want to, or 85. You know, he can bump it on up to 90 if he feels like it. You know, I, got, I seen a lady on TV yesterday, 116. You know, he'd bump that'd be another four or six years and may I pass on that one. But, 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 but he can. He can. And that's what I've been thinking about a lot lately, you know. Uh, like, the period of life that I went through, and, and y'all know some of the trouble I've been through. And, and you know, hey, I've been kind of through in a time, so I mean, I'm dying and I'm going to be leaving, you know. And, and then, I, then I didn't. <laughs> then I stayed. Uh, and then I'm going to die again, and then I didn't. And then I stayed. And I'm going to hate. Wait a minute, boy, I don't know what you're going to do. Uh, the door comes in the shade of the door. You know, so, but, you know what? God may have rearranged my whole thing. He may have rewrite, because he can rewrite the whole book if you want. He throw the book in the trash and rewrite a whole book. If you want to start off page one. You know? And I'm 62, he can start off with me page one. Here we go again. Here we go again, let's do it again. You know? Why not? Why, why he can't? He's timeless. He's God. He can do anything he wants to. That's right. So he may decide to do that. He may, be, he may decide to bless Teresa another 40 years. <laughs> and she got right. And <laughs> right here, be another 40 years. Right here. If she got right. <laughs> you try to determine what a blessing and what ain't a blessing, you know. Sometimes you get blessed too much. Yeah. More blessing than I can stand, baby. Yeah. Amen. But that's okay. God knows how to bless. Amen. Yeah. Then they took away. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, "Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me." What's he going to have to do? Talk to the Father. You need to take care of And I knew that thou wouldst hear me always. Yes. I knew that thou would hear me always. But because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. Just done it for their sake, Lord. I know what you're going to do. I mean, uh, I wouldn't even have it. You can read my heart without me even saying anything, but I need to say it out loud so these people can see you work a miracle and see the glory of God. I want them to see the whole glory of God. He said, so they believe that you sent me. And when he had thus, or when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. He had to call him by name. Couldn't, couldn't just say come. every dead person in that cave would have come out and out the door. He had to clear it up who he wanted to come out. And then they come out of there, you know. Uh, all right. And I stand tall there and go, oh, get back in there. Can't do that. That would really have been a miracle, right? Amen. And then, then, then after the 300 years, they come back. 
out of now, you know. <laughs> Amen. So he said, Ladder, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus saith unto them, Loose him and let him go. Amen. Praise the Lord. Loose him and let him go. That's what he told the devil. The day I turned my life over to the Lord. And the, and the Lord said, Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. He's bound by the grave clothes, but you're going to have to turn him loose and let him go. Amen. Then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus did, believed on him. But some of them, listen to this, and some of them went their ways to the Pharisees and told them what things Jesus had done. You would have thought that everybody would have been happy about it. That everybody would have just been jumping up and down praising God. Don't always count on that, sister. <laughs> Don't always count on everybody going to be happy because you got blessed. That's right. You mad? Hey, some folks don't, don't, don't care if you get blessed or not. Uh, some folks don't want you to get blessed. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. But even in here, even in here, how could you not? I mean, how could you be mad about that? But they said, uh-uh. We're going to tell the Pharisees right now, look. We're going to go tell them here. My goodness. But some of them went their way to the Pharisees and told them what they, Jesus had done. Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees and the council and said, What do we to this man? What? What do we for this man? Doeth many miracles. Now what we're going to do about it? If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him. And the Romans shall come and take away both our places and nation. Can't do that. Can't do it. Got to make him out to be wrong. Got to make him the devil. Got to make him the bad guy somehow because it's going to turn around on us if it don't. We got to do something, boys. Y'all got to think quick. Think quick. And one of them, named Caiaphas, Caiaphas, being the high priest, that same year said unto them, Ye know nothing at all, nor consider that it is expedient for us that one man should die for the people, and that the whole nation, or that the whole nation perish not. He's already working a plan. He said, Don't worry about it, I'm gonna get him bumped off. I'm gonna get him crucified. We're gonna take care of him. The devil always got plenty of things. It don't ever work. It hadn't worked yet. It never going to. The devil got a plan for you and God got one. Listen, go with God's plan. Don't worry about the devil. Don't worry about him. You're just wasting your time if you're giving him any of your time. That's time wasted. That time that you worry and fret and all of that and let him have the advantage over you and have that bad feeling on the inside and I'll get rid of that. Listen, the devil's not going to have his way. You're God's child. Amen. Go ahead and settle that thing and quit fooling around with the devil. Quit letting him worry you. Quit letting him get the better of you. You're better than that. You're better than that. I'm going to close with, with this idea. First, there's those of you in here that don't know Jesus as Savior. He wants to rescue you. Like he did last year. He wants to give you a brand new life. A new life. Not this old life down here. He wants to give you a brand new one. And it's yours. All you got to do is ask. It's free. He paid the price for it already. He gave his blood on Calvary. He paid the price. So the dirt of you in here that, 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 that Jesus wants to give this free gift to. And he wants to give you this new life. Brand new. Wouldn't it be something if you walked out of here today brand new? Sins forgiven. Forgiven. Declared not guilty at all. Don't exist anymore. Far as east is from the west, you'll cast them away. Never bring them back up. You can put them away. 
And then you can get on the back of God's business living the life that God promised to you. You can have that. Or you can take back what you had before you came in. Because it's still bad as it was when you left out there. And all those knuckleheads you just threw away last week, they'll be there this week. Putting you down. Dragging you down. Trying to get you to quit. Discouraging you in every way they can. They'll still be there. Or you can walk out with a smile on your face. And when they start that, just walk up to them and smile bigger. They'll think you're crazy. That's okay. Amen. That's okay. You tell them, I got born again. I got born again. Don't worry about me. I'm born again. So you do whatever you want to do. I'm born again. Amen. So you ain't got no, nothing on me. I'm born again. They'll think you're crazy. I know that. But then they'll walk off and say, that dude got something right there. Yeah. And then they'll begin to think on it. And you know what? I wish, I'd be, I wish I could be that happy. Yeah. I wish I could be carefree. I wish I could be born again. Uh -huh. And not have to go back to what I left yesterday. Because it sure ain't got no better than it was. Amen? Yeah. Born again. You can do that. Or you can have a child of God. You can come in here and listen. Children of God load their wagon down with the foolishness of this world. And get loaded down to their to the belly dragging the ground. I mean dragging the ground. And come in here and listen, you can leave them here. You can leave them here. He'll give you another chance, he'll start you all over again. Yeah, but Brother Jimmy, I failed too many times. Nope. You're not going to fail it too many times. Amen. You're not going to fail it too many times. I promise you. I promise you, you're not going to fail it too many times. I don't, I don't encourage you to fail him at all. And you should strive not to fail him at all. But listen to me. Don't think that you've gone too far. If you've gone too far, they couldn't have, a, a team of horses couldn't have drove you in here this morning. That's right. If you had done gone too far, a team of horses couldn't have drove you through that back door. You'd have been kicking and screaming the whole way. Why? Because you, it, it doesn't matter anymore. As long as it matters, you are. Amen. God can rescue you if it matters. If it still matters, you still care. God still got a chance with you. You still got a chance. So as I close, no, come on, Charlie. as I close, we open up invitation time. So make a decision time. Do you want this free? Born again, life. You want to walk out that way? But do you want to carry out of here the same thing you towed it in? You came in, your knees were buckling, you loaded down with the world and the concerns and cares of this world. Won't you leave that here? And leave born again. Saved by the blood of the Lamb. Ask Christ. To forgive you, save you, repent, turn away, turn away from that life. And if you're a child of God, unload the thing here. Don't drag that out there. But not only, not only because for your sake that it, that it, that it hurts you and it's hard on you, but look at all the other people you're affecting that used to put a lot of confidence in you and you had inspired through the years. And as they see you stumbling, they begin to stumble. Get up! Off of your knees, shake yourself off, leave that thing here, walk out the door with God yes. again. On your side, uh, promoting what he's doing, not going out there with a grudge and, <coughs> and trying to dig through another week. Ain't you glad you're saved? Yes. Ain't you glad you, you're a yes. child of God? Oh. Amen. Let's stand. Father, as we close, God, I ask you, Lord, every head bowed in the room, every eye closed, if there's one in the room that says, I'm not saved, Brother Jimmy, I want you to pray for me. Don't call me up and I don't, I just want you to pray for me. I, I, I'm not sure that if I died, I, I'd go to heaven. Stick your hand right up, right back down, and I'll just put you in this prayer. Father, if we lift these up, God, to you, right now, Father, you know the hearts of each person in this room. And God, you know what they need to do. And Father, I know you, you're willing to help them. God, when they take that first step of faith, God, you make it easier every step thereafter. 
God, and, and, and you'll meet them halfway and, and bring them down. And God, I just ask you, Father, uh, that one that might be in here, Lord, didn't raise a hand, but Lord, might be in here knowing their heart, God, that they're not saved. God, help them today. Lord, your people, don't let them go out loaded down again. Don't let them go and live another week under that kind of pressure, that kind of pain and worry and hurt. God, deliver them today. Uh, set them free today. Uh, just like Jesus said, uh, cut him loose, let him go. Let they go out free today. In Jesus' name I pray.